Hello beer drivers and welcome to another beer review with me Peter, the master of hoppers today, checking out another beer that I got from Alex over in the US. We did a little trade so I could get some of these cool Elder Scrolls beers that Bethesda made in collaboration with Aslan. So this is the next installment in the series and uh, this one sounds pretty interesting. This is the Elder Scrolls, the Aslan Beer Company and Bethesda, the Elder Scrolls, Night Mother's Blood. Made for the 25th anniversary of the game series. Uh, as you see here in the glass, it's poured way, way too much. It looks crazy, but I was trying to get a nice big head, but it kept just setting so quickly or fizzing away. So I think it's going to be a bit sour because this is a sour. This is a Goza, the German style sour wheat ale with often sea salt and coriander. It's 4.5% alcohol and is brewed with raspberries and dragon fruit, which sounds awesome. So this is a tribute to the Night Mother, which you see there on the label. If you play the games like myself, uh, you probably did the Dark Brotherhood storyline quests. They're in, uh, I don't know, I can't remember if they're in Morrowind, because I never got that far in that game, but in both Skyrim and Oblivion, there's uh, quests for the Dark Brotherhood. If you don't know the games, it's a group of assassins that do assassinations, and you can become part of that and become, is it the Whisperer or something? I can't remember the actual name, but it's basically where the Night Mother tells you what to do. The Night Mother is... Kind of like a deity, I think, of sorts that gives you, tells you who to kill or something like that. I can't remember it completely. But I haven't been playing the games for quite a while. I think you never saw, no, you become a listener, right? Like something like that. I remember in the, I think it was in Oblivion, there was like a statue you talked to. But in the Elder Scrolls Skyrim, they found the Night Mother's coffin. Oh, and there was like a crazy gesture or something. I think that's how it goes. And at one point you get locked in to the coffin with the Night Mother and she speaks to you and then something like that, oh, she's never spoken to anyone before, whatever. Video game nerd stuff. But if you've played Skyrim, you know what I'm talking about and also live in. Uh, doing the Elder Scrolls quest, I always only, or the uh, the quest for the Dark Brotherhood, I only always did on characters I made evil. I always had like good characters and evil characters. So I play through it as a good character, play through the game as an evil character. Where I joined like the Thieves Guild and the Dark Brotherhood. Um, but, yeah, I do love a good sour, so this will be interesting. I think this is actually also the highest rated of the collabs. So, yeah, tribute to the Night Mother. Interesting, Night Mother's Blood. Let's check it out. So, pour is a very nice, lightly hazy, bright red color. I mean, this looks like a very, like, it's almost like rosé-like. Maybe a bit too dark to be a rosé, but man, that is red. Uh, not crazy hazy. Some people probably hoped it would be because a lot of these super fruited sours nowadays, they are always, like, turbid. Uh, but... I mean, it, it's actually nice that it's got a little bit of clarity, but I can actually see like some kind of yeast stuff going on in there. It's got a nice little pink head. It'll be interesting. This I love dragon fruit, so I hope it's going to shine. It's not going to be all raspberries, but let's check it out. Thanks to Alex for the beer. Yeah, it, there's definitely there's definitely a little bit of dragon fruit in there. It's not like crazy, but the big thing is like raspberry candy. I'm getting loads of candy like raspberry, almost like uh, if I had a Pez. Like the raspberry flavored Pez. It's, it's reminding me of that for some reason. It's very candy-like. I'm definitely even getting a little bit of the salinity underneath and some wheatiness. And this smells like a true goza with fruits. Not like this crazy super fruited sour stuff that you just call a goza or a badina or whatever. This has the remnants of the authentic style. Because I'm even almost like getting like that, that like coriander vibe. Yeah, definitely. And it's got like this yogurty raspberry yogurt, and then there's like the dragon fruit. The dragon fruit is lingering a bit on the back end, or pitaya. Actually, people, I think I got a comment that in an old video uh, that someone said something about pitaya, but pitaya and dragon fruit is the same thing. Um, I think they might just vary in color, or maybe there's just two colored dragon fruits, I'm not sure. But it there is a little bit there, but it's nothing crazy. But dragon fruit is also not the most flavorsome fruit compared to something like a raspberry. It smells really nice, really refreshing smelling beer as well. Let's check out the Night Mother's Blood. Cheers, and thanks for the beer, Alex. Ooh. Oh, that's very nice. Really, oh yeah. And you can also taste, it's not crazy sour. It tastes, well also gooses are not usually crazy sour, but it tastes like something people who might not be too into sours and who's into the video game series will be able to enjoy, which is really cool. Yeah, this is quite nice. Um, Big raspberry character on this one. Big, as I said, like raspberry Pez candy on there. Pez? Pez candy? 
definitely some energy. And it's interesting, the saltiness makes it, the flavors like, almost like, it's like pops a bit more. It gives it this interesting umami, umami vibe. There's like hints of like a coriander-esque flavor. Lots of wheatiness actually. Lots of like bready wheaty flavor. And then that lactic sourness reminding you of like a raspberry yogurt or something. I well said the dragon fruit is a bit understated. I think if you told me that it was just a raspberry sour, I wouldn't recognize the dragon fruit. I, there's a hint of something that reminds me of it. It's like this almost like dragon fruit or pitaya reminds me a little bit of kiwi. It's almost like a similar thing if you're looking for a, a comparable flavor if you've never had dragon fruit. But boy, is this refreshing, especially on a day like today. Like the summer finally hit Denmark, which is great. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty good. It's pretty good. It's, it's I'm getting the same vibes as with like... Um, the, the Parthenon X, it's also really good, but it's not like the best of the best Aslan has done. Uh, what I've had at NBCC has been better, but I think the other beers we have are going to be very good. Actually, uh, the Bale can I have to review, which I'm really looking forward to, the peanut butter beer, it's super hyped, should be really good. Uh, is it called El Rancho, the barrel aged version? I was like, I might have a bottle of that for you as well. Man, that'd be amazing, so... I mean, I'd love to review that because that beer sounds great. And like my favorite kind of pastry beers are often the peanut butter ones. Uh, but there's so there's a few, but not a lot of them are done like really greatly. Like my favorite so far is like Yellow Belly Sunday by um, Omnipoyo in Buxton. But this is quite nice. Um, I like it more though than uh, Pothonax because yeah, it's just a little more bright and more fresh tasting. It's not like it's got it's not it doesn't taste like oh man this could have been better or this could have been or tastes like a beer that's been faded if you can say like that. Because uh, the other one tasted, you know, a bit old. This doesn't, this still holds up quite well. Uh, but you, you could have had more, at least, dragon fruit, I think. But really nice, very sessionable goza, and it tastes like something that's super true to the style, and that it's just super fruit sour. So, nice. Mmm. I think a straight 90. A nice beer from Aslan. So, if you guys had a chance to try the Bethesda and Aslan, the Elder Scrolls, the Night Mother's Blood goes with raspberries and dragon fruit. Let me know what you thought of it. As always, when you subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks a ton to Alex for the beer. And I'm going to say cheers. And see you guys in another beer review.